Berries come in either in trucks, which you saw unloaded, or we have scales here we buy from smaller people. Uh, they're either harvested by professional crews that also harvest tomatoes, watermelons, and other agricultural products, or they're mom and pop and families that just want to earn a little extra money, and we'll buy them here at the plant, those, and then put it all in our supply line. Once they're put in the box, then they're taken out to the dryers. We try and start the drying process as quick as possible. We are dealing with a fruit, so the sooner it's dried, the better quality the berry. This is a typical site where we would harvest saw palmetto. This goes on for acres and acres and acres. What's important is a road here for uh, accessibility so your pickers can get in and the machinery can come in, the trucks, the four wheelers can get in to move the berries out. You need to know that this is very difficult work. The threat from insects, because the, it is southern Florida, tropical, so there's all manner of every insect around. Saw palmetto, Serenor repens, has a spiked, and in the, in the larger grows, when you go in to pick the berries, it's quite, a, a, quite a common to get an eye injury. So it's very difficult picking these berries. Uh, the people that do it uh, earn their money. Only in Florida is it commercially harvested because last year we harvested, uh, the industry did, close to 40 million pounds of uh, fresh berries. So to, to produce that many berries in a six week season, they have to be very dense as you can see them here. What we try and do is maintain custody from this field. In other words, our pickers go out and uh, we commission with them and with the farmers and the ranchers uh, they, to go on their land, pick their berries, and then bring them back to our warehouse and process them. And then after we process them, we store them and then Valencia creates the extract. In this way, you know exactly what you have, where it came from, you have property identity. The only other big difference we just started is certified organic. Certified organic salt palmetto maintains a paper trail from the which we do on most of our berries anyway. These are uh, some Serenoa repens on the on the bush and you can see these are not quite ripe yet. They have another uh, two weeks before they would be re ready for picking. These boxes you see everywhere they're they're used for citrus. We also use them for the salt palmetto. They hold about a thousand pounds. 500 kilos is about what they hold. After we buy the berries and they're uh, in the facility, we bring them out, this is the drying area. They're dumped into uh, conveyor belts and spread evenly throughout the container so they'll dry uh, uniformly and then they're turned. It, the drying process takes about uh, 36 to 60 hours. They're basically almost 70% water. So during the drying process, we have to eliminate this moisture and bring them down to below uh, 10%, which is what our customers require. We let the berries cool and then we'll go inside and show you our, uh, how we clean them, package them, and grind them. This is our uh, cleaning process. We separate by air because the trash is lighter than the berries uh, that goes up and the vat over there is the bagger. We have two ladies that stay in that area to hand pick out the rocks and any foreign matter. So we know that when a customer gets his berries, the berries are all saw palmetta because there are other palms that people harvest here and there's no machine that can separate one palm from the other. So we have to use people actually at the final stage before it's back. Here's the roller mill that we use for extraction grind for Valenza. Uh, the berries, the dry berries are recleaned and dumped in the bin. They go up and this is a uh, roller mill. And by the time it comes out, it's a nice extraction uh, grade powder. For long-term storage of the, of the saw palmetto, rather than leave it in the warehouse, once they have cased, they're put into this uh, airtight cooler. A saw palmetto, if properly stored, can be stored for up to five years with no noticeable degradation at all. So